News broadcast. I'm Bonnie Wong and I'm Vivian Ho. AP Calculus AB students, band, and orchestra held their annual Calculus Air Band on Thursday, January 14th. Students danced, played music, and wrist injury. It was an afternoon of dancing, music, calculus jokes. I wish I could eat negative 2x so I could like tag into those curves. What? Attempted body rolls. <laughs> Risque dance moves. <laughs> and things we've never seen before. <laughs> but what does all of this have to do with calculus? For these calculus AB students, this performance brings them closer together, something that doing calculus can't always achieve. The purpose that we are told is so that we can bond together and prepare better for the AP exam so that we know it's not just one against all, it's all of us against the AP exam. And, you know, nice pretty skirt, shiny right? skirt, yeah. So is this a key factor for Keppel's success for the AP calculus exam in May? More than 90% of Keppel's Calculus AB students score a 5 on the AP exam. In 2015, only 21.3% of all students scored a 5. A UC Berkeley study shows that group study is advantageous, and Calculus Airband seems to create an atmosphere where students can learn to bond and want to study together. So I think the purpose of Calc Airband is um, just to foster that um, collaboration amongst the students. I think that that's really important in a, in a class like calculus because collaboration is necessary and uh, the students need to help each other out to uh, grasp certain concepts and uh, just overall be better students. Yeah. But creating that sense of collaboration was no quick task. Students began air band practices all the way back in December. Yeah, during winter break. At least like four three hour practices. Um, you struggle with your, your ring and you, you struggle like learning different dance moves. So it's it's hard but you're going through the same difficulties as the person beside you. So it's um and it makes that and it makes the experience experience that much more rewarding when you actually carry it out. And these routines would not have been perfected if it weren't for the six ringleaders, seniors Joanna Yao and Ariel Wong, and juniors Jackie Pang, Raymond Dang, Jenny Wang, and Rachel Wang, were in charge of organizing these 10 plus person groups. I'm really proud with what my ring has done because they worked really hard to be able to do all the dance moves and they initially, they initially, initially weren't all dancers but through practice they were able to do really well in making a good performance. <laughs> Judging from the applause, all the performances were well received by the audience. I thought, I thought it was amazing. You know, they're not professionals, so I was like, oh, they might mess up a couple times, okay, we'll just accept that. And then when they didn't, I was like, oh, wait, what? Oh, oh shoot, they're all synchronized. What, what? Dancing? I, I was just like blown away every single time. But as always, Calculus students have one thing on their mind. Bye for all! For a full playlist of all the Calculus Airband performances, check out the description box below. The American Red Cross Club is collecting first aid supplies such as gauze and band-aids as part of their Create a Kit donation drive. Red Cross hopes to provide a first aid kit for every teacher at Mark Heppel, while simultaneously raising awareness of the issue at hand. The American Red Cross Club started this donation drive when the club was first created three years ago. Club members noticed that the emergency classroom backpacks were low on supplies. Jasmine, she was our original president of the American Red Cross, she decided to maybe create a community project where we actually have um, people from the club donate um, supplies and be able to make sure that every teacher has some basic supplies to start off with their emergencies. So now that we have a bigger club, we're hoping that we'll get the whole school involved. 
Current Red Cross President Kimberly Fung also commits herself to this goal. She leads Red Cross for collecting supplies as a health and safety club. I realized that like when students would ask their teachers, oh, can I get a Band-Aid? They would have like, like only the small circle ones or they wouldn't have enough supplies. They wouldn't have a sufficient uh, first aid kit. And I feel like as a Red Cross club, we should be able to provide that for the teachers. While known for its multiple blood drives at school, the American Red Cross Club also volunteers at food banks and shelters, and its members wrote letters to the veteran families in gratitude for their service. I think within our school, we still need to build more awareness to making sure that we kind of know, let other people know what the club really is about, rather than just doting blood. One of our services is um, like a blood and health and safety service. So this is basically fulfilling one of the services. So we're just trying to make sure that like, if anybody gets injured, then like the, the teacher or the classroom will have the supplies to help with that. Students have until Friday, January 29th to deliver supplies. You can drop off supplies at any English teacher's classroom. In other news, students participated in the first Get Lit Poetry Slam on Tuesday, January 12th. The top four winners earned four of the six spots on the official Get Lit Poetry team. Nevertheless, all of the students showed off their impressive spoken word ability. But when they hear the word Mexican, they naturally picture the idea of aliens receiving D's and F because it fits who are already below the average status in society. 25 Keppel students performed poetry at the Get Lit qualifying round last Tuesday. Students chose a classic poem, then created their own response poem to that classic piece. The event was hosted by Gordon Ip from the Get Lit organization. I come from an organization called Get Lit. We are a nonprofit organization that uh, comes based from LA that started maybe eight years ago, and we focus on improving teen literacy uh, throughout the Greater Los Angeles United School District. We do that through poetry, uh, specifically classical poetry as well as response poetry. No more on my the winners were chosen by a judging panel consisting of Mr. Yankowski, Ms. Brown, Ms. Bradley, Ms. Burkhart, and Ms. Arzate. Senior Amanda Cypresseth won fourth place. X. As in the only exception I have when you want me at the mall is the incentive of pretzels. And no, I don't accept any pretzels aside from the cinnamon ones. Seniors Alexander Beaumont and Melissa Zapata tied for second. And don't tell me that because I'm the little brown kid lost in the sea, I can never be able to do more than what you think I can. And senior Michelle Martinez won with a perfect score of 33. He did nothing. He soon became a puppet tied to strings, each body part maneuvered by the influence of society, engraving a new stereotype each time he stole the streets. These four students, along with two other poets, will represent Mark Keppel at the Get Lit Classic Slam at the Los Angeles Theater, which will take place from April 28th to the 30th. Well, I was in complete utter shock because like, everybody else was just like super duper good, and I was like second to last. I was like, oh man, how am I supposed to give like a good impression to everybody else? And then I was like, okay, third place, I didn't get it. Second place, I didn't get it. And then the first place, I was like, oh. But now okay, here, okay, that's, that's, okay. That's, that's, that's yeah, I'm still in shock right now, so. I was so scared because I wanted it so bad, no, like, really there were so many, like, good poems, I did not I think know, I was going to make it, I was like, dang, like. But for all of the Keppel participants, this poetry slam was still an opportunity to expand teen literacy, which is Get Lit's ultimate goal. Students were also able to express themselves and talk about their own life experiences. Well, I'm in was based on apartheid, discrimination. At first, it was really complicated because it was talking about childhood and just finding the light in your heart and just passing through all the troubles. And so I really wanted to incorporate something that happened to me as well as something in my family that shared the same problems I had. You can communicate your feelings with people and you can just put it into words and rhymes and you can perform it for people to hear, and it's kind of like a hidden message in it. While poetry might not appeal to you at first, give it a try. Who knows what you might discover about yourself. I wouldn't care, I still do. Potato. And that was the last word I ever said to you. I feel like they should give it a try because it gives you a chance to communicate your feelings and you could do whatever you like with it. It doesn't always have to rhyme either. You're just putting your feelings on paper, so. Same, but it releases dopamine. A happy chemical drug. So maybe 
just maybe, I can drug myself into happiness. Thanks for tuning in to Behind the Spear. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at The Aztec News for all the latest news on Mark Keppel High School. And don't forget to subscribe for more video content and check out our website at theazticnews.com. We'll see you next time!